Hello and welcome to the Balladon ma map and this let's play. And uh, it's uh, Farming Some Lady 17 and today we're gonna go and get some bales for our cows or future cows. Do that. I just I thought did I actually buy Oh yeah, I bought the go win. Um be, haven't been playing this for a few days and I'm a little unsure why I bought it instead. So anyway, we're gonna go get some bales. We need straw bales, silage bales and we have hay bales, so silage bales and straw bales is what we need. Kilometer power speed limit here, I think. So we'll go 30. Um, so let's, uh, since I have, let's see. Last time I played this, I ha they hadn't put out the mod contest yet. So, but that's out, and you see that on my other let's play, um, and you can see the reviews I did for the implements and the vehicles also in my channel on my channel um let's speed up here um and there's also some really cool mods out some okay mods but some really cool mods let's see if i'll do any of those on this one might not actually i don't think i don't i have no plans on doing on adding anyone but any any mod but uh, we'll see see in the future uh, i haven't looked at m maps yet there are some really cool maps but there are other people that have taken that onto their channels and uh, reviewing the different maps i haven't uh, but you can just YouTube and Google Mod Contest and you can find loads of reviews of the maps. <coughs> uh, is it? Is it hard to get up this hill. No, okay, so. Um, so we're gonna get bales. We'll start with. Um, oh, we'll start with silage bales actually. Uh, then after we. Then I think I pretty much have everything we need and we have tank for water we have um, the different we have the mic food mixer we have bales then and so then we just need to buy the cows Oop. kill and cheese cool cool I should google this map and see if we how close this is to real life. Maybe it is. I, I've driven around this is Northern Ireland I think. Driven around Southern uh, Ireland. Southern Ireland. I've driven around uh, Ireland. Oh that was too tight. They don't seem to slow down very much the cars that are in the game. Let's drive a little bit here so we can get to this. Around this bend. So, and let's buy some bales. So, I have the buy bale mod installed. We'll start with silage. This. So, I'm buy one. I'm not sure exactly sure how the round bales, yes that works. X I think is working position. No, sorry. Yeah that was unfold the uh, U. Oh, 
by one more. One, two, three, four. Can we? Oh, I don't think we can fit one more. So, because one more is eight bales, and I think we have four, five, six. I think we can fit six bales on there. No, sorry. And then we have to get the straw bales, and then we have the cow, so... No. Uh, I set up a... <laughs> Damn it. I keep doing that. I have a trailer. I have to keep care, take care of my trailer. So, um... works yeah, I'm not planning on having a, like a huge amount of um, cows or a few maybe 10 20 20 let's see how many we can buy 20 is probably okay the buy bale mod is I mean I don't think it gets credit enough it's one of those really good mods I mean you buy bales, which is the way you would do it in real life, so it's not it's not strange or weird, it's just it's one of those things that I don't I can't figure out why it's not an in-game feature. Why isn't that around for the basic game? It should be. To buy bales. I mean that's the way you do it in real life, so why do you have to? Uh, uh, my only thing is this. I keep hitting stuff. Um, the only thing I find sort of slightly annoying is that you can't buy grass bales. Oh, at least I'm, I'm not. I haven't updated it to the latest version of the buy bales mod. I don't think you. So if I I could be mistaken here. So if if you know that in the latest version, the one in the links, you can buy buy grass bales too. Please let me know. Because so that's the only thing I find weird. You can't buy grass bales. You have to mow that and harvest and pick it up and give it to the animals. I'm guessing if you're a farmer, you can buy any bales you want to buy. Oh, 76 mi kilometers per hour downhill. So it's like it's 30 kilometers per hour everywhere on this map. I think I did a, yeah, I did a course play route to the shop, but I don't mind driving. It's, it's fun driving when the steering wheel. Yeah, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this in this this let's play, but um, I did. I have. I got a tennis elbow, basically. Is what I, I haven't gone to the doctor, so I haven't gotten it diagnosed, but. It has all the um, all the symptoms of a tennis elbow, which came from 
playing games and playing this game playing this game a lot because I before I installed the steering wheel and that's the reason why I installed the steering wheel because I had so much pain um, I, I controlled with the keyboard and then on the keyboard let's see where I'm gonna put this uh, you use I'm gonna put this maybe down here actually. Let's see your last picks. Small road here. Um, so I used uh, A D to turn and S and W to speed things up. Um, but the problem is that I basically that's a really repetitive motion and finally my arm said no I'm not gonna do this anymore. them here actually okay so let's go back and get the straw bales um <coughs> So my arm finally said, no, I'm not going to do this anymore, this is silly, uh, you need to do something about it, so I, that's why I got the steering wheel out, I don't know if I mentioned that before, but that's basically the reason, I was in so much pain. So this l lets me do, well, it keeps me doing um, more differenti differentiated, differentiated? Differentiated, differentiated. God, that's the word I'm looking for. Differentiated, is that a word? Well, it lets me do different movements, and lets me switch hands for driving. So I can drive with the right hand if I want. So like, like I'm doing now, and then I can switch to the left hand, which I'm doing now, and it works good. So either way. <coughs> That was a cool car. Don't know what this sign means. It looks like free speed. Because the other sign says 30 kilometers per hour, so free speed here. That's one of the things I remember from going to Ireland, not Northern Ireland, even though I've been there too. I've been to Belfast over the day. But <coughs> the speeds were like I come from Sweden where you can have a really straight road where there's separation between people walking and bicycling and the people driving and it's forty kilometers per hour because it's in the town. Um and and in the countryside you go ninety tops, mostly around seventy kilometers per hour most roads but 90 maybe on if it's a pretty straight road <coughs> and in uh, no, in Ireland they had really small narrow winding country roads where you had like 110 kilometers per hour and I was like you can't possibly ever ever get up to 110 kilometers per hour on this road before you have to make a break you're gonna get like 17 then you really have to break because then there's a u-turn another uh, u-turn uh, um what's the word I'm looking for that's the word I'm looking for, chicane, not chicane, it's not, uh, well, you, you get the really turn, God, what's the word I'm looking for, not a winding road, it's, um, well, you know, the, the roads, the kind of roads you have in mountains, you go, like, 
swindling around the sides of the road uh, of the mountain to get up because you can't have just drive up it you have to drive alongside it basically well, that sort of roads so you had 110 kilometers per hour was the speed limit and you were driving around this winding road it's like sometimes you couldn't get up to like 50 kilometers then it was time to turn so that was not ideally suited roads well, that was weird to drive on them. Let's get the Okay, so we'll have what was it? Three? Three of these? One, two, and three. So what's that? Eight times three? Eighteen? No. Four? Eight? Sixteen? Twenty-four? function is amazing. Wonder what I would do without that. Well, I'm um, with manual mode. Uh, on Blick, Blick, Blickling Farm, my let's play there, I actually do. Oh crap. I was so busy trying not to get stuck on the other side of the road. I got stuck on this one. Blicking farm, I do manually load stuff with the don't have a UAL an old load trailer. So, this is the what, what are you doing? Why are you honking? You drop basically into the side of my trailer. Cars here, people. Sorry. Um, and there I have the Merlot and the uh, other uh, telehandler, which are really cool. They're good and they work. And then I have the, the mod, um, the bale fork, which attaches several bales to it with an X button. You just press X and it's stuck there. So it's e pretty easy to carry and lift stuff around. Then I have I I'm around the county line for my just own pleasure, and um, there I use a telehandler with a bail fork, and that bail fork, this doesn't have the attach function, uh, and that works pretty good too. Just sometimes it drops things if you're not careful, but uh, otherwise it works pretty good. No, there's a car coming. Truck. No. Okay, so not. Oh man. Seriously. So uh, I think I, I don't remember. Did I buy the smallest one? Is this the smallest trailer? Is this an eight? I have to look. Sorry. Which trailer did I buy? Yeah, eight meters. So this is the smallest one. Yeah, yeah, moving. Touchy people there. Like, oh, if you don't move all the way all the time, they're like, oh, you move, you move. You're in the way, I'm honking. 
Chris, uh, don't stress out. Take it easy. Take it easy. It's driving. You should be careful when driving. You shouldn't be stressing out. I'm not bad. I'm not a good. I'm a really bad driver when I'm stressed. So I usually try not to stress too much. It's easier. Uh, it, it, it's gotten easier with age, not to stress. Be stressed out, but. Uh, when I was younger, I did sort of stress out when I was driving. And that's not good. Then I, I tended to make lots of mistakes, and that's a bad combination: being stressed out and being not very experienced and not a very experienced driver. Then that's a bad combination, I think. So um, I try. Well, as w with age, I've. I don't stress out as much about things, and um, so that's gotten easier. I don't stress out as much, and I have more experience driving. I guess I've had my driver's license since 1996, so that's my God, that's 21 years. I had my driver's license for 21 years, and I'm turning 40 next year. Jesus, time really does fly. What did I do in 1996? I was a conscript in, no, yeah, oh, late 1996. I was conscript in the Air Force, so I was in the Air Force until 1997. 1997 I started studying at the, the university, started studying psychology with you I would spend my life doing stuff with that. Uh, what could I put these bales? Um, but that I did wasn't really sort of the plan for my life. My my plan was to become a police officer. That was my dream since I was like 13, 14. Uh, I'm pretty glad I didn't become a police officer actually. Sounds like a great idea, but... Sound, sounded like a cool job, but it's not. I'll just place it here, that's okay. Perfect place to get stuck, I see. There's a tight turn. Yeah, got around. Uh, um, so, it sounded like a great idea to become a police officer. I, I probably couldn't have liked it. I would probably become a decent police officer, maybe. But I did it for all the wrong reasons. Nowadays, I do what I do because I like it, I'm good at it, and I, I like helping people, and that's a selfish idea, which I know is selfish, but I do. So now we're pretty set up with everything, and go and get our cows. Should I get the manual attach mod? Can you let me know if in the com comments if you should if I should get the manual attach mod or not. It's a cool mod, but uh, I never really well uh, of course I understand it. That's the way it's done in real life. So if you want reality, realism, sorry, reality is something else. Realism, uh, then the manual attach mod would be great. Uh, so let me know if you I should get that or not. I don't know how many cows you can fit on this in this trailer. It was like ten sheep. No, six. Just six cows. Possibly six cows. Six times four is twenty-four. Maybe we should go for like twenty-four cows. 
Um, right, that's one more thing you can do and put it in in the in the comment section. How many cows should I get? Twenty-four. Twenty. Twenty is a nice round even number. Twenty-four is cool too. We're not. I mean, we're not creating a big farm. This is a small farm. It's going to be a small farm. But we need some sort of profit. For profit, we need animals. And since this is the animal farm, that's the way we're going to make profit. So let me know if you the amount of animals or milk dairy cows you think I should get. Um, we're up to 25 minutes of recording, so we're gonna go to the animal market, buy some cows, and then we're gonna take them back to the farm. And then that's the episode done. And the next episode, we'll hopefully before the next episode, I would have been able to play a little off screen, offline, and off screen. I don't know, I still don't know what to say. Off screen, offline, off screen, well, you get the idea. And then I will have the animals set up so then then we can start feeding them on that episode where's the traffic something's like sometimes there's loads of traffic then there's like oh no traffic at all nope. there's no traffic on this road but still doesn't hurt to be careful I guess that that's the only way to set up with, uh, traffic is like different routes which the authors do, do on these maps. And some signs is like, oh, you don't really have to do it that way. See where the cows could be. Pigs are there. These cows. Uh, sheep here. Close that. Pigs there. And this is all for show, I think. Also, people buying animals. Okay, so move by. We go. Here, I think. I wonder if I can manage this from the inside. I'm getting better at this. Still a bit to go. This could be good practice for my bike. That we have a lower price six so we have a lower animal price mod installed so otherwise they would be five thousand each. I don't know what a real cow does cost. How much would you give for a dairy cow? I guess it's different in different places, but if you were in Northern Ireland, what would you give for a cow? Me, my little cows and I. Oh, sorry. Good thing this Massey is sort of powerful. Do you need powerful tractors? I could switch these tractors out for um, something from uh, the old Massey Ferguson pack, which is part of the mod contest, or the old Fords, the TW5 and stuff, TW15. Uh, maybe it's T double. I don't, I don't remember. Uh, or I could just keep this. This is more modern style. Don't know what sort of. If you would do this, uh, um, a year ago or something, a year, half a year, six months. I don't. Know, we we went to this sort of like a farmers market on the farm. 
uh, which was quite a pretty clo close by and it was one farm and he had like four track four John Deere's four big John Deere's not like a small one I think he had a seven series and a six series and a two or three six series it was like how many tractors do you need on a farm and, and don't they cost like a hum human humongous amount of money I can't afford to buy that many tractors but I don't maybe you need a lot of tractors on a farm Or not, I don't know. Or maybe, I don't know. Something. So after 30 minutes, I'm gonna stop recording soon as soon as we get the cows out of the truck or trailer. I'm pretty hungry. I'm <laughs> actually, it's early morning here, so I wanna get this done pretty soon because I'll have to wake up the kids and then I have to eat some food because I'm darn hungry. It's a beautiful day here. Beautiful evening in the game. I do like the game, the seasons, or no seasons, the days and nights in the game. The new season mod, which is also part of the uh, mod contest, that's kind of cool. Uh, it actually uh, lets the animals get different rates of produ different production rates, uh, whether depending on the season which I guess in real life and if you don't give them food they will die so <laughs> let's see how where did you unload this is it there no. I don't think it's there I can try it nope it's not it maybe I have to back it up into the shed over here Here. Wonder if you have to open it or we can just back it up here. See what happens. Yeah, okay, so unload. Our first new first cows are here. Well, not here. They're somewhere else. <laughs> They're not there. Yeah, there they are. Hey, we got cows. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello, cow. Beautiful picture. Oh, darn. No. Okay, so anyway, that's it on this Let's Play. S next time we'll feed them. Yes. So. Hope you enjoyed this channel. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this episode, please hit the like button, leave a comment or share. And I'll see you next time on the Belladorn Let's Play map. Take care. Bye bye.